Here we go. You've read about him. You have heard all the rumors. So here now, direct from the studios of the Lighter Than Air Ministries in Katati, California, stepping to the microphone, may I introduce to you the good chaplain, Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale, and I'm here in the music sanctuary of the Lighter Than Air Ministries in Katati, California. And I'm with you. I just stopped into the ministry on my way back. I was called suddenly and asked to serve, officiate at the final service for a friend that I've known for, oh, 12 years, I guess. And in that he was homeless, I was sad that I didn't know that he was still homeless when I met him. He was, but I can only imagine what 12 years on the street was to this man. And I had the honor and pleasure of officiating and saying a few good words about a good person. So Kip, wherever you are, all the best to you, sir. I also, on a quick note, I would like to make mention of the fact that I would like to thank everyone that I had a chance to meet this weekend at the Emerald Cup. Over 40 people came to say hello, and I appreciate that. The few of you who left me with samples and such, that was very warm and sweet of you. The fellowship was as important to me as the knowledge which I gleaned from the workshop or two I attended and the time I had interacting with people. Of course, people were selfish with their time, as they should be. They're there to sell things, and I have nothing to sell. I have something to offer for free. And that is our seven-minute miracle. We're getting such wonderful traction on it now that legalization is getting closer. And nobody is really addressing the first time. That first time that you smoke marijuana. And in bringing it up to people at the Emerald Cup, and these are some very intellectual people and learned in their field, yet nobody was addressing the first timer. So our ministry, the Lighter Than Air Ministries, is here offering a time to smoke, a time to appreciate what you've done, and that appreciate the fact that your intention of smoking is in fact a spiritual decision you make. And that deciding to smoke marijuana for the very first time should be embraced and thought of as a significant event in your life. And it very well could be. For those of us such as myself whose history with marijuana goes back 50 plus years now, I can only tell you that I had no intention on that first day of ever making this speech today. <laughs> but that was then, and this is now, now again. So, to all of you whom I met at the Emerald Cup, thank you. Thank you so much. To the ones I said I'll drop an email to when I get back to the office and get out of my chaplain's uniform, I will do so. I'll start with those emails this afternoon. So thanks again. I appreciate all the people who shared with me at the Emerald Cup. I appreciate the people such as Kip who shared so much with me about their life. And I was able to help today at the end. Chaplain Hale saying thank you. And if you go, may you go with grace. Goodbye.